good morning. Among the beauty and skincare, bath, body related topics, I would say that one of the most frequently asked questions is my favorite self tanner. And I do have a handful that I go back and forth recommending. And I have a few that I recently bought and wanna try for myself. So I figured let's do it together. Let's test them all. So I'm gonna use my thighs for research purposes and I'm gonna be your guinea pig. Here they are, fresh from the shower I took last night. I didn't put anything on, no lotion or anything, so they are ready to go. I think the best way to do this is actually if I sit down. So let me rearrange, resituate to make this better. <laughs> so I wanted to make this as fair and scientific as possible. So I have this tape and I measured out half an inch, roughly. And I'm gonna use this to make my barrier. I also have four new slash clean tanning mitts for application. Today's test is gonna be all about medium self-tanning foams, and these will be today's contestants. I will also be applying them in that order. We're gonna judge the initial application, then we're gonna do some check-ins at four hours and eight hours. We will then rinse off and then do our daily check-in to also see which one lasts the longest. Up first, we have the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Valley Bronzing Foam. This one smells super good, and that's one pump. Moving on, we have Saint Tropez Classic Self Tanner Bronzing Mousse. Initial thoughts so far. This one has more of a caramel, warm brown tone. The Sunny Honey has more of a super deep brown, almost like a forest green tone. Up next, Million Dollar Tan Summer Sun. This one also pulls a much warmer tone. I would say almost more yellow toned, more golden. And then last for today's experiment, we have the Vita Liberata Luxury Tan. Offhand, I would say this one is probably my least favorite scent. This one pulls more of that grayish, greenish tone, and it's much more transparent or sheer than the previous three. So here are the initial swatches upon application. The time is now 9.45 a.m., and I will check back in with you guys later. Made it to the four hour mark, and here is how they've developed so far. We've officially made it to the eight hour mark. So here they are before rinsing. That is fresh. So it's officially day two. They've been rinsed. I literally just woke up, made some coffee. I'm pretty surprised by the results, to be honest. Let's get closer. They definitely faded a lot, and I only used water to rinse. No soap, no lotion. This one here definitely has the most brown base. These two are a bit warmer. This is the warmest, and this is the most subtle, lightest. So depending on your original base color, I think that's gonna be a huge factor, as well as if you're warmer or cooler skin tone. But I would say my favorite is Still this one here. This has been my go-to for the past couple years. I'm gonna check in with you guys again tomorrow to see how much more they have faded. I will see you guys then. So we have one, two, three, and four. Three has definitely lasted the darkest, the longest amount of time. One still has a very nice natural fade and it's second place as far as longevity. Four didn't last long, and two is barely hanging on. Here are the end results. For best scent, I'm giving first place to Coco and Eve. If you prefer no scent, then I'm giving Saint Tropez second place. For the most natural color, I've awarded first place to Coco and Eve again, and second place to Saint Tropez. For longevity, I've awarded first place to Million Dollar Tan, but you could say that Coco and Eve was a close second or even tied for lasting the longest. Comment below whatever your favorite self-tanner is or what self-tanner you want me to include in the next round.